Welcome to another episode. Lost my train of thought with that sneeze. I, I know. Took it out of me. But we have a cute announcement for you guys today. We are switching up the uh, the way that we are doing things. Yeah, after years of performing <laughs> a certain way, we're gonna try something new. We, we're gonna do. We're gonna move to shorter public episodes and then go to a longer Patreon. Um, and if you guys have anything to say about that, if you're like, no, well then subscribe to the Patreon. Don't you know? Don't be a cheap fucking bitch. So if you don't hear your story, <laughs> okay. So if you don't hear the story, if, if you don't hear your story on the main, it's because it's being read on Patreon, and that is really what it is and what it isn't. And it's also so, and it's also that like, what am I saying? We are getting more emails, so we can't get through all of the emails. So if you go over to the Patreon and you don't hear it, well, sometimes we can't get through all of them because there's a lot of fucking emails. Mm -hmm. And it is what it is. But we want to get, we want to do longer time on Patreon and less on the public episodes. And again, if you have something to say about that, take it up with um, HR. Then, yeah, make a burner and call us ugly cunts. And that's how it is and how it will always be. And I'm still like fighting this fucking weird cold. I'm not sick anymore, but it's like, uh, you know, the leftovers. My tonsils are so inflamed. I was almost really sick yesterday. And then you graciously gave me all that vitamin C and D. And I kind of OD'd on it. But I swear to God, it's ever since I had COVID 45 times, I always feel a little bit sick now. I know, honk. It's so annoying when it's like still hanging out in your fucking sinuses. Like, get out of here. I know, here. it's like, get a fucking life. I um, I saw a doctor the other day on my free health care, which was a nightmare. <laughs> and they did all this testing. They did it like blood. I can't. I sound sick. I, like, Are you it, drinking something with milk? That's always. Okay, well then, yeah, dairy activates the sickness. So it's about so, to go x cream mode, sweetie. So I got all these uh, blood tests and, you know, SCD tests on the other day. Mm -hmm. Clean as a whistle. But they did tell me. Uh-oh. They did tell me, uh, you actually have a really good vitamin D. And I don't have a vitamin D deficiency. Okay. All those walkies. And uh, I guess most Americans do have a vitamin D deficiency. Yeah, because they're just hunched over in an office. Yeah. And you said, not me. You're a bunch of fucking incels. Yeah. Said, you said, not me. I have no job. I'm going to go walking all day, every day. All day, up and down, sunset. And then my brother calls me last night at like 11. He and he's does. like, I have 45 cases right now. And I've been working 15-hour days. And today I had a deposition. Do you know what a deposition is? And no, I said, it's Sweet. a deposition. And I said, sweetie, it sounds like something to do with a court case. <clears throat> and then he was like, yeah, well, it's when you have to go through the with the lawyer. And then da -da -da. And I was like, OK, already you're losing me. I already I can't describe what a deposition is. I would never last. And I said, my all question right. is this. He looks like a vampire. Is anybody happy? Eli said his job is soul sucking, but he's having fun because he said that every single thing in the deposition gets recorded. Mm -hmm. And he was like, and someone was quote unquote trying to fuck on him. And so with legal jargon, he essentially told them to fuck off. And he was telling me how he was saying it. And I was like, wow, that would give me raging, monstrous anxiety. But if you like it, I love it. Now, circling back, is anyone happy? Mm, I don't think happiness is a destination. I think happiness is something that's like a nice fleeting thing in the wind. And you can grasp it sometimes. And then so she's gone again. So it's the friends we made along the way. Yeah. Let me turn this on to do not disturb. Who was just calling? I'm in a group chat. Uh -huh. And then the guy that I'm dating just texted me. Mm. We're figuring out our plans for the weekend. Don't say it like that. <laughs> lot of sucky sucky. Okay. Lot of sucky. Sucky, sucky with all with all h z oh last letter of his name unlocked or first letter of his last name unlocked h z baby all right stay vigilant everyone okay um, let's get into the fucking story you guys so, so today many. we are this the um the prompt is what was it craziest family stories crazy family stories and just so you guys know we're jumping into this with uh the first three that i read heavy heavy on the incest so a big old a trigger big old TW. warning. Yeah. yeah. And these are long ones. So I right. didn't somebody write you and they were like, can you guys get better at reading the stories? Well, don't worry. It was us on. 
or was it me? I can't remember. The the Patreon DMs and my DMs kind of conflate together. Mm. But yeah, someone was like, can you guys do better at reading the stories? Because they're really fucked. And I'm like, baby girl, we are just reading. They said, oh, can you guys practice reading out loud? Now, here's the tea. I will say it is really funny that I do a podcast where I have to read out loud because this is my biggest insecurity. So every day that we do this, I'm facing a goddamn fear. And I don't know how many yeah, of y'all are reading out loud. It actually is fucked. Yeah, you but guys also, want to come in here and act like you're fucking reading out loud all the time? You go fucking read out loud. Remember when you were in school and you got called on to read out loud? You'd be like, God, no, no, because it's hard. And all of a sudden your voice starts sounding weird. You're like aware of like how fast your heart is and beating. And not even that. And I'll tell you what. Okay, Miss Thing. You guys got to get better at writing your fucking stories because half the time we're trying to work out grammatical errors spelling errors some of y'all no need to periods. know y'all need to know where a comma goes where a semicolon goes throw a few of those in yeah please i'm begging at this point so you said yeah so Th you there's say so many run-ons you guys will choose the smallest you guys will go mm, what if we tried size one font and I'll be like, okay. And then you guys write the Odyssey. So we're all just doing the goddamn best we can, sweetie. We're all doing the best we fucking can. Not us coming in here all the time and cussing out. <laughs> it's our the listeners. mommy issue, sweetie. We can never feel safe. Oh, we can never feel safe or just free to be. <clears throat> but I want you to get I want you to get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, sweetie. You guys, we don't need to talk about our crazy families. You already know what's going on. Yeah. We talk about it every episode. I so mean, we want to hear about you. Today. If I have to talk about my uncle fingering me one more time, then I'm actually going <laughs> to burst into flames. But you know what's nice is that today we get to hear a lot about other people's uncles trying to finger them. I know. So it's time for you to share the stage, honk. Okay. And I'm ready to have, I'm ready to be dethroned. People are out here getting fingered by their uncles left and okay, right. Okay. A lot of people are fucking their fams. And honestly, I, th I think it's kind of cool. God, YouTube. Are they going to keep us? We no. No, no, no. We'll, we'll find you guys on Rumble. Yeah. See, yeah, see <laughs> you there. Okay. Okay. Hi, honks. Uh, buckle your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Ooh. Okay. So. All right. Wait, can you hear me? No. So my dad is gay, but yeah. comes from a family of gypsies. Not Rose. Actual convict traveling gypsies. Can I get an eye roll, please? That's actually pretty funny. I, unfortunately, my eyes widened with excitement. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how I made it here to this hell for a home, Earth. <laughs> oh. here, we, here we go. Here we go. We're embarking on a... Um, I like it when it starts like... I journey. like it when it starts as like time of conception. That's like when you know it's going to be a good fucking story. Let's go. My father's dad didn't like the fact that my father liked the dick. So he thought if he put a lady at the door... Oh, okay. Hmm? Here we go. So he thought <laughs> if he put a lady at the doorstep with another kid and forced him to marry her, then he wouldn't want to be rammed in the ass by a guy ever again. <laughs> okay. Well, the blind old man was wrong. But my dad, being only 20 years old, decided to give the old vagina a try. And oops, here I am. The end. Now I'm going to say this. Thank you for writing in. You guys just you're trying to insert bits in every sentence. And that, this is when I start losing my mind. Well, I'm, and this is, you have to remember that we have fried our brain cells with enough Molly to put down a horse. So when you guys are writing in, you just really need to be cognizant that we are mentally ill, but also, so the, it was an arranged marriage of some sort or no, no, I just, it's, it's, I'm getting fucking pissed by the, all of the bits. My father liked the dick. It's okay. Your, your dad's gay. So no, the dad's gay. And the grandpa is like, I don't like that. My son's gay. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a woman. He introduces, he somehow, and she had a kid as well. Yeah. If you put a lady at the doorstep with another kid and force it, I don't think it's an arranged marriage. I think probably the dad just like pressure, the grandpa pressure the dad and was like, you need to, you know, what I was thinking, woman. you know, that scene in holes where like, um, the, that it's older, great, one, yeah, it's great a great movie. movie, great book. You yeah. guys got to check out holes, um, with critically acclaimed Shia LaBeouf. Um, but <clears throat> that scene where like she's getting traded and, um, for like a goat or something. Yeah. That's what I was picturing was happening. Yeah. I, and I wish it was. And I wish I just described that better, but guys go watch holes. So let's see how many bits and here, love you girl, <laughs> but let's see how many bits you're going to insert into this. Okay. One how day how, she's writing her, she's writing her comedy store oh. hot 10. And I love that for you. And I'm not shitting on you. And I love it. I am. A, I am on a fucking cunt one today. Here we go. <laughs> Honk. It's okay. Okay. But my dad being only 20 years old decided to give the old vagina a try and oops. 
Here I am. The end. Ha 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 ha. JK, I wish. So after I was born, my mom decided to get up and vanish overnight. Okay, here okay. we go. My gay father was stuck with me and my sister who wasn't his. Okay, yeah. So the mom brought another girl with her. Yeah. Your mom vanishes. She gets she knocked goes, I'm up. I'm married to a fucking gay guy. And she goes, I can't be I can't fuck this gay cock anymore. Let yeah. me go get back out there. But also I can't be fucking and sucking when I got two kitties on my arm. Right, right. Let me go get out there. I'm still hot. Yeah. And my my baby daddy's gay. So what am I doing here? Yeah. She said, I I obviously can't take my other child with me so no. old, old gay guy's got to get strapped with the two yeah and then she goes I i'm just too straight to be doing this but who better to raise two girls than a gay guy honestly no one well actually let's see because oh, i well, think maybe he tried maybe you got confused and then tried to fuck her so yeah let's I, think, keep going. I think some weird shit's about to happen oh, okay so okay. And so before i start giving your dad too many you know accolades let's see okay he was the breadwinner of the house to keep his mother and father alive uh, working a serving job, dot, dot, dot. So he was never home, which left his parents to abuse us in ways I don't remember at all. Oh, okay. So, so here we go. So maybe, maybe being gay is a sin. So your grandpa, the one oh, wait. who hated that your dad was gay. Oh, the grand. Okay. I misunderstood. The grandpa was doing the abuse. Yes. Because dad is gay. Dad is, is working. Mom's gone. And two kids now are left at home with the grandparents. Okay, then never mind. Being gay is perfect and... Well, we'll see. Oh. Jury's still out. Okay. Which left I'm getting parents. too excited. Yeah. Okay. But there are memories of my face being pushed into a cake because I licked a bit of icing off when I was three. That's horrible. <laughs> what, licking, licking the cake or pushing the face? Um, Licking the cake. Yeah. 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 Why would you do that? Yeah. And then raw... Full ass potatoes being thrown at my sister and I around the same ages. <laughs> Yo. Okay. And someone called that the Irish surprise. Yeah. Um, and, and they would honk. And they would. Not to mention. Oh, wait. Around the same ages. My sister also got hit. Well, you said his by a car. My sister <laughs> also got hit by a car when she was five because no one paid attention to us. Not to mention. My father's brother was molesting the both of us in their oh. basement when he wasn't home. Okay. Yeah. I remember a bookshelf falling on my sister next to us during the time he was molesting me. Okay, so wait, you're sitting in the room getting molested by your uncle. Yeah, she's getting uncle. pounded. Look, we're already off to the uncle. Okay. Wow. She, wow. So she's, well, she's not getting R-worded. She's just getting... Deedled? Canoodled. Okay, like scootled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's getting Uncle Ricked. Yeah. If you well, will. Uncle Rick tried and failed. <laughs> yeah. So, so this Uncle Uncle Rick is. But there was an uncle in my family that was doing a lot. Yeah. And I guess we can say his name was Uncle Bob. So she's getting bobbed right now. She's getting bobbed. Okay. She's getting bobbed. So, so their uh, bookshelf falls on the sister. Jesus. Okay. While she's getting molested. Oy. I remember bookshelf falling on my sister next to us during the time he was molesting me. Mm. Then, and then his cover was blown. Mm. Not sure what happened after that, but at some point, my father ran away with my sister and I in the middle of the night, and we ended up at his husband's apartment with this gay dude painting a room pink for us with in his whitey tidies. Now, that's really sweet, Aww. and I do love this. So your dad is the only good one in this situation. Yeah. As far as we know. I know. Keep going. Keep going. I know. I know. Because you know this podcast, there's always something treacherous around I the know. Corner. And you can be thinking it's the best story and then yeah. all of a sudden you're hitting that. I know. I'm like, well, this is going to be, this. he's the savior, but we don't know that yet. That's one of the only cute things I remember happening for us as a kid. Fast forward through our years of growing, my dad was still gone all the time, stealing credit cards from restaurant guests just to pay his bills or buy us presents. Okay, mm -hmm. hustler. Oh, his partner became an alcoholic that had a few DUIs tucked under his belt, enough for him to plop his ass in jail for a few months. Child Protective Services were at our apartment all the time. My sister and I were considered homeless by the state because my dad didn't have any records of us, especially my sister. Damn, dude. My dad's parents and other family members would show up to our schools trying to steal us to the point where our school had to get a doorbell and lock all of the doors. What? Where's your mom? Well, she but, ran off, honey. I know, but it just like she doesn't come around at all looking. Maybe drugs? I don't know. Fast forward to age 15. My biological mom's oh. sister-in-law 
Sister-in-law. Biological mom's sister-in-law. So. She got remarried, and this is her husband's sister. Okay. Why was that the hardest thing? I know. I, why, do I still <laughs> not, why do I still not I, get like, it? I pictured like an equation. Cut. I was like, whoa. I had that okay. meme. The yeah. meme with the equations floating around. Literally. Okay. Fast forward to age 15, my biological mom's sister-in-law found me on MySpace, which was perfect by my sister, which was perfect by my sister needed my mom's signature to get a driver's license. Okay. But my mom's sister, we flew her out to see us and I hated everything about her. Not to mention she has two other kids that aren't doing the best. My dad's husband died six years ago, and my dad has been just going downhill. Fucking 20-year-old crackheads and lost all 30K he was given from the death. What? No, hold on. It's the... <laughs> and, and guys, again, don't come for us because it's the grammatical... It's Can the I just say something, though? It is really funny that we were like, we're reading just fine. Fuck you. And then, well, it's, there, it's the hard. commas are all over the place. The things, no, it's okay, okay, honk. I stutter. I stay stuttering on this. My podcast, dad's so. husband died six years ago, oh. and my dad has just been going downhill. Fucking twenty-year-old crackheads. Oh, and lost all thirty k he was given from the death away to those motherfuckers. Now, no. okay, so the way that this sentence is structured. Sorry to get, you know, grammar Nazi on you, but the way that the sentence uh -oh. is structured is confusing. Okay. You know, the you are the giving place. you're giving very much professor in that I know, coat I put right on, now. I put on the coat from my mom, my cashmere coat, and I get into my professorship. Fucking twenty year old crackheads and lost all thirty k he was given from the death. So he didn't. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he gives away the thirty k mm -hmm. to the crackheads that he's fucking. Yeah. There we go. Sorry for burping, you guys. Um, that's just the way that it was written. You really. Yeah. My sister and I got one k each. Lol. Not very much. Not 1K each, LOL. Yeah, not very much. If my parents died right now, I would somehow owe 10K each. That's really funny. I would too. <laughs> I would inherit my dad's trailer and then it would also be stolen back by the state. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And because it doesn't have any running water, they would be like, hey, you owe us money on this running water. 100%. On this broken toilet, I mean. Perfect. So. Yeah. My sister and I got 1K each. Oh, well. Okay. I did get his car when he died, but thank God because my dad got his car repoed months after he let the crackheads damage his. He can also only keep a job for less than six months. And then apparently everyone else is the problem and he leaves or gets fired. Oh, well, your dad is struggling. Okay. Well, that's so me. Long line of abuse. Okay. That <laughs> is you. A few, not me simping for the dad. A few <laughs> years ago, I got a call from a friend when was in hawaii okay again you guys she she's very taken with the story yeah, like, okay, okay. Uh, you have to remember when people are writing in yeah they're reliving the, like to us like we're yeah. a, like no tea no shade you guys but like we're a little bit numb to this because like yeah. we this is just so so regular we're like okay like yeah. another rape doodly doot doot yeah but like for some people like this is the first time they're like airing this out this like out. you know like there's like adrenaline like rushing through so maybe that's why they get like carried away i know and here i am just like roasting you while you're writing me like the most traumatic thing in your entire life and i'm like um you're making grammatical errors can you clean that up for us <laughs> and you know what you've never told anybody this in your entire life and now i'm dragging you publicly <laughs> mark is saying this has to be speech to text yeah it honestly feels honestly, like yeah like they're is. driving to work and they're like let me lay down the yeah, story you're driving and you're like making right turns and stuff and you're like and then my and my friend is in hawaii and says one thousand dollars to the crackhead please and i'm just trying to be nice because for years you guys are like why is harper such a cunt and i'm like really trying to be like take your note and be like okay yeah okay let me I can be a little bit nicer, so I'm trying to empathize. And then I'll be on my cunt shit. So I'm I, wondering. I think this is good. Let's balance it out. Okay. And I love you and thank you for writing us in. And we love you and thank you for writing us in. Um, okay. <laughs> so a few years ago, I got a call from a friend who was in Hawaii that said, get your dad. He's offering blowjobs to the guys at a popular bar in town. That's really funny. Not saying the name and making everyone... <laughs> feel uncomfortable i called my dad and he denied it of course and my sister just laughs it off okay this is dragging on now but my dad is also you guessed it a convict oh he literally he literally just slips and falls in stores and at his job to get money and recently 
That's a little his, bit funny. It is really it's funny. It's a little bit funny. So he's street smart. He's very street savvy. I mean, he had two girls he got he left with. two girls. He didn't even want pussy, and he got... He had to fuck one, then he had to raise two. Yeah. And he you was like, look at that. I, I know. He didn't want to he didn't want a fucking kid. Now he's raising two girls. Yeah, he he didn't want anything to do with pussy and now he's quite literally no, drowning in it. He wanted to go suck he wanted to go suck guys off in bushes. And yes. now he's now and he's then hotel with bars. two girls. Yeah. Right, right. And and now he said, Well, fuck, okay, I guess my gay ass needs to get the fuck to work. Yeah. So and, now he's and like, work he did. Look at that. And when and how old are you? Like like and how old is he? You know, because like being gay back in the not even that long ago, even like twenty years ago, was like a pretty like harsh thing to yeah. like deal with. So he's doing the goddamn best he can. So he's slipping and falling in stores to get money. That's which a is little hilarious. bit hilarious. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And smart. It worked. It worked the <laughs> first <crazy>. time. <laughs> it worked the first time, but the second time he tried to say someone stole his car, or no. He literally just laughs it off. Okay, this is dragging up. My dad is also, you guys, at a convict. He literally slips and falls in stores and at his job, at his job to get money. And he recently got his car stolen for insurance fraud. Oh, so. It worked the first time, but the second time he tried to say someone stole his car. The insurance company told him they dropped him two months prior, lol. But oh, don't worry. Somehow his car still shows up the same day. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Okay, this isn't it, but I'm getting close to finishing. By the way, my sibling condones all of his behaviors because she has a weird attachment style of being left by her loved ones, obviously. Oh, man. Honey. Context, I cannot hold a conversation with my dad for longer than two minutes. Otherwise, I'm just ripping my hair out. I mean, honestly, same. I called my dad on the way to the podcast today and I said, you've got two. You've got two minutes. I, listening to you guys interact was something else. And I have to go, okay, okay, okay. okay and I, I got to go. And he'll it was be just like, so oh, chaotic. Wait, come on, I got to And I'm like, no, 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 no. I got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go. Got to go. Christ, I can't, I can't. I cannot hold a conversation with my dad for longer than two minutes. Otherwise, I'm ripping my hair out. Also, mm -hmm. not to mention the whole molesting thing has never been talked about. That is a wild thing. And it, and it was his rug. brother that was deedling. Oh, yes. No, no, because it was the dad that was beating, and then it was his brother that was scootily doodling. Was molesting. Yeah. Yeah. Molesting. Molesting. Last year, I'm 31 now. Okay, look at us. Um, We were at a Harry Potter thing driving home, and he blurts out, Oh, did you hear Tommy, his brother? Okay, so your uncle. Did you hear that Tommy is out of jail? I said, why would I care? And he said, well... He did molest you and your sister. <laughs> huh. And that's honestly out of everything you've said, this is how we know your dad's gay because gay people love drama like that. Yes, they love tea. They love a little like a little, hey. This is tea. Uh, I know. He said, have you heard the fucking tea? Yeah. He, he goes, hey, sweetie. Do you hear that? <laughs> okay, and she's like, and she goes, <laughs> why would I care? And he goes, um, because he was molesting you. Yeah. He said, are you guys going to get back together? Literally, he's dragging her. No, he is. He's dragging her. Your dad's on his like cunt shit. Your dad's on his fucking cunt shit. Like yes. boots, like very much. Literally. Yeah. She, um, okay. My whole life I questioned if my memories were real or not because he never talked to me about it. Girl. I didn't even know he knew. Wow, I was so pissed, but all I could do is shut down in silence. Of course, no one brings it up again, but now I can't stop having flashbacks <laughs> and reminders that these dreams were actually my reality. Now, this sounds like a job for EMDR therapy. I was just going to say EMDR therapy is going to help get into sex therapy. Get into, um, get your dad in a gay conversion camp. Yes. That works. Get, get, call up Candace you Owens. And you're not gay anymore. No, you guys. Yeah. Electric shock does work. Yeah. Prayer does so work. get your dad yeah. to gay therapy. Yeah. Um, ha ha. Okay. And to end this off, not ha ha. If you haven't realized, my sister isn't my dad's biological daughter. Well, we did realize that. Yeah, we did. We put well, one and you also two. Said that. Yeah. So she decided to get us all ancestry kits in 2019 to find out oh. and talks about our heritage. Makes sense. Well, okay. my dad never took it. Oh. So she showed up to his house on Father's Day last year, bright and early, and made him spit into the vial and watched oh. him send it off. Okay. Weeks later, the results are in. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, what's going to happen? Somehow... What? Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Somehow, my dad, <laughs> no, and sister are first cousins. What? <laughs> what? Somehow, my dad and sister are first cousins, and so are my sister and I. Whoo! 
so how is that how does that work wait you guys i am i stupid or am i dumb because what's going on Uh, okay wait the mom fucked the uncle or the grandpa what the grandfather the i grand- thought it was the dad's brother that was the molester no, it was, it was, well yes the dad's brother was a molester but but then the mom fucked the, the grandfather's brother, brother and that was the random ass and that's the sister whoa so the grandpa hooked up the mom and gay dad yeah knowing that mom was fucking the this is like some human centipede like experimental shit also, this is how weird did your dad not know who your mom wa- whoa hold on talk about hillbilly moment ladies and gents oh and of course my dad and bio mom know absolutely nothing on how this could be i mean your mom doesn't know no your mom is that she, is the grand what <laughs> Your mom is of dark magic. Like, this is wild. <sighs> okay, cute. Wow. Well, I hope you get a kick out of the story as much as I did writing it. Honestly, it was kind of therapeutic in a sad way. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry for dragging you. I just, it's all in good fun. Thank you for writing <laughs> yeah. us. Remember to not let your kids play in the street or they'll get ran over by a car. Hong okay. Kong speed bump. Toodaloo. Toodaloo, now, honey. that really kicked us off. Um, Thanks for writing us in. Again, sorry for going grandma- I mean, grandma. <laughs> Sorry for going grammar crazy. No, it's okay. We, we, okay. We love you. Um, that was insane. I feel like we needed to get like a whiteboard out and start connecting dots. Wow. Dude. Damn. Some of the lives that some of y'all have lived wow. just leave me absolutely befuddled. Okay. <sighs> All right, you guys. She Here said, we go. Buckle your seatbelts. Well, fuck and, me. Bl- and buckle we did. All right, Honk, you ready? Yeah. Let's get into it. Hey, Honks. I know my full name is in the email, but let's pretend it's not. Don't worry, sweet girl. We don't ever check. We honestly, we forget what we read as soon as we leave this and we never go back. Like your identities will never be compromised. We don't remember. We don't care. There's like a, a couple girls that like I started like DMing with just over the over the years that write in. And so like now i recognize their names from like the 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 dms so like that coincides with but like in the for the most part when some of y'all are like oh i'm writing in again i love you so much but it's like it doesn't register because of the emails that we see was that mean to say oh my god no 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 but we're also not like we're not clocking your names like no we literally are just looking at the meat your your secrets are always safe with us yeah and we love that okay real quick harper wait Oh my god, I just got scared it was gonna be mean, but it's not. Okay, real quick, Harper, I was at your special at the Lyric and you oh were my fa- god. Oh my god, and you were fantastic. Thank you. Look at that. Gabby, I sat next to you and Kate. Sorry to be weird and not say hi until the end. I'm shy. LOL. That's really cute. That's really cute. That's when really I feel like cute. I remember that. I was on my deathbed. Yeah. I was in my suicidal era. I didn't even think you were gonna come. No, I was on my suicidal era big time. Yeah, but you know, you still came because you're a good friend. Um, and also thank you so much for coming. That really means a lot. Anyways, this is perfect. This is the perfect topic for me. My dad was an alcoholic, RIP. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> and we're off to the races. And we had a crazy few years. It began when I was in middle school and my dad nearly OD'd on antidepressants. Oh, which ones? Oh, honey. I always wonder if you can do that. I guess you can. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Um, antidepressants. He was also drinking while on them and shit himself. Oh, okay. All right. A little razzle dazzle. Um, that was the day my mom kicked him out and my poor older sister had to mop it up. Oh, not your sister having to mop up him <laughs> shitting himself. Okay. So, and that, okay, that's literally me. And that's on mental health matters. Side note, even though my dad was an addict and did some crazy, stupid shit, I want to let it be known that he was a, a fantastic, wonderful father when he was sober. He wasn't an angry person, just very sad and broken and lost. Oh my God, that's so me. Honey. I okay. am your dad. Okay. Um, don't make this about you, but I love that. Okay. So once you kicked out, no, 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 don't. Um, so once he kicked out, he, so no, it's not about you, Gab. It's not about you. Cause you're actually doing fine now. So anyways, and everyone knows that you're lying. Okay. So when so he was kicked, stop. So when he was kicked out and lived with his parents on and off. Oh, wait. So once he was kicked out, he lived with his parents on and off and would frequently go on drunken rampages. 
Oh, he totaled three cars in one year, drove off the side of a mountain twice <laughs> in a suicide attempt, I oh. assume. And or literally, maybe not. Maybe just for fun. Okay. One of my other uncles, who I don't talk about on here because I actually respect him, but one of my uncles actually drove off a cliff in Malibu trying to end his life. This is like 10 years ago. And his car was so good. Like it was like a Jeep or something. And it tumbled down the side of a mountain and he like didn't even have a scratch on him. And then he got placed on psychiatric hold for like two weeks. Jeeps are like notoriously so dangerous. Well, not if you're trying to kill yourself. I guess so. If they want to, so if a Jeep wants to kill you, that's when you're going to die. But if you want to kill yourself in a Jeep, you can't do it. Right. And that should be the slogan. That should be the commercial. Yeah, that should be the Jeep commercial. Oh my, my God. friend tried to kill herself by driving driving off of a the uh, hill in Malibu, and she said as soon as she felt her car, as soon as she flew off she was like i don't want to die and she buckled her seatbelt, and her car got wedged in between like a rock and the cliff and i was like would you have died if that didn't happen she's like absolutely i was like three football fields high and i somehow got wedged in between this wow rock and the cliff which is crazy because she was like it was just a crazy thing to hear the instant regret. The instant regret of like wanting to, but it's like you can't ask people who commit suicide that because they're dead. Mm -hmm. But she was like, I, as soon as I did that, I was like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Which is a reminder to all of you who are like, I should die. Guess what? Mm. Maybe you don't want to. You shouldn't. Why don't you just get a new haircut? Talk to a friend. Get a new haircut. Go get on a, a new walk. haircut. Go on a fucking walk. Get some vitamin D. The reason why y'all want to kill yourselves is because you're vitamin D deficient. And I think you want to kill yourself because you think that no one loves you. And so I and think all killing yourself, you're kind of true. looking, you're looking for proof that that's real. But guess what? It's not real. And at the end of the day, if furries can find love, if people that like want to fuck their cars can find love, then for you little meth addicts out there or whoever the fuck listens to this podcast, you can also find love. And I love that. Now let's get back into this. Cause this is actually a good story. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. He was an angry person. Um, do 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 total three cars in one year, drove off the side of a mountain twice. Well, honey, if it didn't work the first time, let's regroup. Okay. Um, in a suicide attempt, um, was literally walked away from both accidents and eventually arrested. He broke into our home several times. And as a latchkey kid, I usually came home first to whatever he had done. He wrote 5150 on my mom's mirror with red lipstick. Stop. 5150 is a police code for crazy, I believe. Yeah. You believe, right, sister? Yep. He broke framed pictures of my mom, destroyed Valentine's Day decorations we put up. This list could really go on. Okay, he's so me. One time. This is you. Yeah. So sorry, Gab. Um, one time he mailed my mom a wedding care. A wedding care? That was covered in my dad's blood. Excuse me? Wait, my dick. Cake. One time he mailed my mom a wedding cake that was covered in my dad's blood. This is the dad. The dad did, yes. Sends the no, mom. No, this is kind of Taylor Swift coded. Um, and this guy <laughs> the, circled it, circled it and noted real human blood. LOL. <laughs> this is so you. Okay, this wait, is this is you. No, wait, this is T Swift because she literally has the bloody cake. Hold and on, that, hold on. The dad sends the mom sweetie, a yes. cake covered in his own blood. In his blood. own blood with a note that says real human blood. <laughs> Oh. Okay, a communicative king. LOL, which isn't that funny, but I know my dad and it he is. is a very logical person when sober. And that is just so funny to me now, 20 years later. LOL. Honey, this is funny as hell. And this okay. is alcoholism. It, it, this is such a loud cry for help. And I hope that someone answered before he died, but let's see. Can I say this? It's really funny that like this is what you do when you're fucked up. And then the next day you wake up and you're like, whoa, what did I do <laughs> and you're last like, night? Oh. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, no. You retrace the steps. And then the mom is calling being like, you sent me a fucking cake covered in blood. And he's like, guess it was a crazy night. And then the camera zooms in and the funny music starts playing. Oh, no. <laughs> Like sitcom music? Yeah, no, literally. Oh, my. <laughs> or like a circus music. Okay. Yeah. One time he mailed my mom. Oh, wait. No, just read that. Uh, he once drove in circles throughout our complex, blasting Nirvana's Rape Me in the middle of the <laughs> night. Okay. okay so your has, dad is funny. Okay. Your dad is kind of hot. Um. Okay. In the middle of the night, he did so many crazy things when I was pre a preteen. It was truly a horrible time and led me to being a very angry teenager that got into a lot of shit myself. No, I bet you were fucking and smoking cigs. Oh, you uh, were. You was, she was fucking. Cutting too. You know, this was a, a teenager that cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
you were a cutter. Yeah. And honestly, prayers up. I once broke into a local law office, found a set of janitor's keys, and would frequent the penthouse. Fun. Okay, that sentence is actually giving Nicholas Cage. Okay, I was a sober kid. Oh, um, I was a sober kid, so I would just eat their snacks and drink their sodas, LOL. But I eventually got caught and was almost arrested. Literally took off on foot and they called the police. LOL. I love all the LOLs. It's just kind of like giving a perfect um, tone to this. To wrap things up, my dad never fully got sober. He was in and out of detox facilities, rehab centers, AA homes, the works. But I still spent time... Or I smells. Mm. What? I still spent as much time with him as I could in my late teens and early 20s. I felt like I knew our time together was limited. Aww. He ended up dying when I was 25 d- due to liver failure. And it was the hardest thing ever. Aww. I truly loved my dad and our time together when he was sober. He was funny, smart, supported me throughout every dumb decision, and was there for me when I needed him in my adult years. Seven years later, and still g- grieving his loss, mm, it uh, has truly changed me to my core. I'm so proud of y'all for being sober. I'm not Big Gabby's. Uh, and I know from an outside perspective, <laughs> I'm an al but I barely drink. Um, uh, I know I only know from an outside perspective how difficult it is and just know that you are seen and celebrated. Much love to my hawks. P.S. I'm in East L.A. and can't wait to go to another show. Oh, hell yeah. I'll try to be less shy next time. Oh, my God. That almost made me cry. I'm so sorry to hear about your dad and you, you have a sweet spirit. You do have a very sweet spirit. I'm so sorry to hear about that. But, yo, he was fucking funny as hell. That cake story is so funny. And you know, I can tell that you're funny. Yeah, too. you are funny. Okay, so next time you come out, like, don't be shy. You don't, you don't get you. raised by a man like that and are not funny. This is the thing. That's the thing. The trauma that like that deep kind that deep kind of trauma like grows you up really quickly and gives you such a funny perspective on life. Except for like in your teen years, it's like really traumatic and hard. Mm-hmm. But then you become an adult and you're like able to reflect on it and like see that your parents are just like also flawed haunted people and you can like love and accept them well and forgive your teenage shit self oh completely i think it's so important to like work through that shame because otherwise it just kind of lingers like a haunted shadow and also it's wild to think too like when our parents were our age they already had kids well my dad did my mom didn't my mom was old yeah no still uh my mom i thought your dad was a young dad he was a young dad for my brothers. Oh, okay. He was, my mom was 37 when she had me, so my dad must have been 39. Okay, my dad was 29 when he had me. My mom was 58. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was. It's so fun to lie. No, my mom was like 38 or 37. They that, there's that big of an age gap? Yeah, my mom's a cougar. And now it's giving age gap. Now it's giving age gap love. It is giving age gap love. The guy that I'm dating is 29. Okay, so you're kind of like a predator if you I really think about it. I kind of am. Okay, so you're kind of like a pedophile. Kind of. Okay. Cradle robber. Literally. Okay. Cute. Okay, so I guess we'll, we're will we almost at 40. I'll read this story and then we'll move over to Patreon. Perfect, because I have one called Obese Grandpa and I can't <laughs> wait for y'all to hear it. We have so many fucking stories today, you guys. Okay. Okay, last one, then we'll... Okay, family crazy story, in all caps. A terror story. Ooh. An early morning home invasion changed the bond of my single mother, my four sisters, and I forever. That is a lot of women for a single mother. Some might say we're bordering on too many. Four sisters? You... You are one of five and that's they're a all coven. women. That's literally a coven. That's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. That's fun. It was 4 a.m. and my mom was in a deep sleep after an exhausting night of waitressing. Your mom has the world on her shoulders. She was suddenly awoken by an uncomfortable itchiness to the bottom of her feet. She slowly peered up. Okay, this is giving Edgar Allan Poe. I know it actually is. She slowly peered up and saw a looming shadow. At the bottom of her bed. Okay. Okay. Looming shadow. (laughs) She called out my sister's name since their rooms were very close to one another. In a confused state, she whispered, Maria? Who whispered Maria? The 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 mom? The mom? Or the sister? Are you in the room with her? All the while, her skin was freezing from a strong window breeze. Okay. Okay, now what's... Okay. This is very much Edgar. I know, and it's also like, is this even true? What's going on here? <laughs> the window that she closed 
before falling asleep. It was now wide open. Okay. The screen missing. And the only, and only this, this is so funny. And only the sound of flopping curtains in the wind. Flopping? Like, okay. Floppy you want You want to submit this so bad to like a short story. Gab, you are on your like mean girl shit today. My mom abruptly sat up, gripping her blanket and screamed my sister's name, my sister's name once again, Maria. My four sisters and I woke up in a panic and ran towards my mom's room. Okay. The hovering shadow near my mom's feet was startled by the noise. What looks like a tall, lean man crawled towards her window like an agile cat, dove out, literally. Like how you dive into a pool. I'm trying to be nice today. I'm not. You sound like you're in the middle of having a mental breakdown and you're writing this email and you're like, I've got a good horror story cooking up. And you're like, let me send this to tea time. <laughs> you're in the middle of a psychotic break. This isn't, none of this happened. Should we read the rest on Patreon? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Okay, let's see, let's see. That's and I'm so one, sorry. Huh? And I'm so sorry if this is... A true story, and I'm just... Okay, anyway. We will never forget my mom's guttural moans and screams for help. You don't have to say guttural moan. <laughs> A haunted sound to this day. Mm. My four sisters and I... And I were now in fight... Okay, my four sisters and I were now in fight or flight mode. Mm -hmm. Two of us sat and held my mom, who was in shock. Four officers arrived... You said offices, but I assume that you mean officers. You are on one today, baby girl. Four, four office, offices arrived and had us all sit down and attempt to explain what my mom had just experienced. Okay. A shadow at the end of her bed was lightly tickling the bottom of her feet. When noticed, he escaped out of her window. The police left quickly before advising us to purchase a gun. This didn't happen. I just want you to know that I know that this didn't happen. The police also didn't leave they, like you're the way that you're writing this as if like the police you this was they were so scared that they were like, oh, we got to get out of here. You guys need a gun <laughs> like that's. <laughs> this was written in the darkest hours of the night. This is written by a seventh grader who's writing a story for their class. <laughs> Is this the new way to submit your screenplay? It Unfortunately, is. Mark, it honestly is. It, is. it honestly is. OK. Now, Bonk, but we've got to get out of here. Yeah. How many more paragraphs? We've got two left. Okay. Small. We were all so incredibly afraid. That night and the rest of the week, we slept together in the living room. It's giving on um, Willy Wonka. No, oh, they're all sleeping in the bed together. We slept in the living room together with our mattresses so that we dragged out to make one huge bed. We cuddled to feel safe. We cried, tried to laugh, and slept in shifts in case he came back. After 10 long days. Nope. Oh. A detective knocked on our door and told us about the arrest of a suspect. It had happened again two days prior to an elderly woman. Okay, so is this actually real? The suspect was a 17-year-old boy who would climb into bedrooms into bedroom windows and tickle women's feet with feathers. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, this is wild. You can Google the foot bandit from Gardena, California in the late 90s. Okay, okay, so this is real. What happened made us embrace how lucky we were to have each other and to not to and to not take any more time for granted. We learned how fiercely we loved, trusted, and cared for each other. Thank you for reading my story and all the tea time laughter. Not the legend. Okay, so it's called the legend. Of Barefoot Bandit? So is this real? From four years ago? I guess. Wow. The Barefoot Bandit. Huh. Okay, is I guess this real? is real. Okay, you guys. Well, that's our app. And we're going <laughs> to read more on Patreon and react to more. We love you guys so much. Thank you for writing in. I just want this episode to be proof that I can be nice. Thank you. And I want this episode to be proof that I am indeed... <laughs> a fucking cunt and i just want you guys to know that that's kind of the beauty of us that we're both we're all a little mix of everything all rolled into one and, and that's on alanis morissette it is and if you want to hear us on patreon move over there and to hear a 
crazy family story. Grandma to the rescue after great escape from dad. And don't worry, we still got to read Obese Grandpa. Bye, you guys. (laughs)